Hello guys, this is Zuma, and welcome to Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. So what is this game about? It says here, Discover the vast Chernobyl exclusion zone full of dangerous enemies, deadly anomalies and powerful artifacts. Unveil your own epic story as you make your way to the heart of Chernobyl. Make your choices wisely, as they will determine your fate in the end. So I didn't play the first Stalker, but from what I've seen, this does kind of remind me of Dead Side Fallout Chernobyl-like vibe, which I really liked, so I thought I'd give it a try. But uh, do leave a like rating if you want me to make this into a full series. So enough talking, let's play Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl. Right, new game. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen like so many mixed reviews for this game, so it's nice that we're going to find out for ourselves. Slot 1. Uh, difficulty, rookie, that doesn't sound like us, but suitable for beginners and players who are more interested in the story. Stalker, uh, suitable for players looking for a balance between story and combat. And veteran, uh, suitable for players who crave intense challenging battles. So from what I've seen about this game, it's been described as one of the most unforgiving FPS games ever. So a bit of, bit of mix, right? Stalker mode, combat and story, that's us. Let's go. Oh. Oh, very cool. Well, that's different. Is that a, like a meteor then? Or something like that. I wonder if you need to play the first game to understand this one. I, I don't think you do. Last question, Dr. Dalek. Are you sure the perimeter surrounding the zone is really enough? If a powerful emission were to occur, we would... Listen, the zone has remained stable for years. Besides, we didn't establish the most advanced institution in human history without first guaranteeing its safety. As the head of the Scientific Institute for Research of the Chernobyl area, or Circa for short, I believe the wonders that we will bring to the world far outweigh the potential risks. How big are these risks exactly? <laughs> the zone reveals a whole new world. We can stick with the old one, fearing change. But tell me, do you want our descendants to remember us as cowards? Or as those who dared to venture forward to a new, better humanity. So, that meteor... Oh! <laughs> what is it? Freaking pterodactyl coming to the screen? <laughs> was that in the past then? Or is that present? The meteor. The injured were evacuated. I remind our listeners that a similar incident happened in our region quite recent. Ruining homes and lives... Oh, maybe there. recent. City officials urge people to stay calm, assuring them the situation is totally under control. Oh, he's holding the damn thing. He's holding the thing. If something was glowing, would you be holding it in your hand? <laughs> I guess we're up. Are you alive back there? Get the food. Um, I'm okay. Skiff. This zone is really raging today. See that? It was a hell of a blast. Can't remember one. So fierce. Are we uh, close? Uh, kind of. Oh, got me again. <laughs> the central checkpoint could be on alert after the emission, but there's another way in. Crack in the wall to the left of the fault. Bugger off! Hope you didn't lose your secret artifact along the way. If it was outside the zone for too long, it will have lost its anomalous energy. 
anomalous. But I've got this shiny metal thing to recharge it. One lucky activation and we have a gold mine here. Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. I say again, Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. Guessing, what you found. guessing we're not supposed to be here. Everyone's touching this thing. I would not touch a meat of it that was glowing. What the hell is this? I've seen artifacts taken from the zone before. They always burn out and fall apart real fast. But this one? This one is not from the zone. Oh, I bet. Where'd you find it? In my laundry basket. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to, huh? You have any idea what this scanner cost me? If it's not an artifact, it's gonna blow us all to hell! I won't let my hard work come to nothing because of you. I won't let you flush it down the shit I... He's <laughs> tapping This stone owes me a new home. We gotta move. That thing looks heavy. Get to the scientist bunker. Nehoda will explain how to proceed with the scanner. He's waiting for you. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, right. This guy's a Paco specialist. Right, so the motives are pretty clear then. A meteor crashed through into my apartment, destroyed it, and now I'm hoping to make a little bit of money on this thing. But in order to do that, it said we need to activate. Oh. Perimeter breached. Extensive damage caused by. Oh, fuck knows what. <laughs> Copy that. Dispatching a response team. Oh. Wasad? L to activate. A flashlight? I did uh, mess around with the controls a little bit before just to. Get, uh, just to do it to what I want. Um, I'm guessing the uh, exclamation mark at the top there is what we need to head towards. That doesn't look good. Oh, yes. Yeah, definitely a uh, Fallout vibes, but I, I saw the PvP aspect of it kind of reminded me of Dead Side a little bit. And the mutated people and things like that. Like, we played Chernobyl, like. So, a little blend of everything here. And all those games I absolutely love. Can we go in the water, is it? I'm expecting everything just to be uh, radiated. Can we go near these? Oh. That's not as bad. Uh, Confide, thank you for the uh, sub, buddy. 36 months, three years. Got some hats in chat for Confide. Okay. Oh. Cross the perimeter. We're supposed to go that way. My uh, loot sense is tingling. Oh yeah, uh, let's get a lay of the land. Bottom left, uh, radiation, I'm guessing. Uh, top of there is health and underneath there, energy. And we have 68 bullets in this uh, tab. Oh, that's more of a quick slot, okay. That's fine. I've got a knife. One, two. Oh, easy. This is all good. Uh, I then. Ah, there we go. Equipment. Quick access. So we've got bandages. Some anti-rad drugs. Uh, 60 bullets. And eight in, the, eight in the chamber or in the magazine, I guess. And we've got this thing. A topaz scanner. So my artifact is inside there, right? The Topaz Anomaly Detection Scanner given to me by Herman. This modification was used in artifact recharging experiments but was discontinued due to safety issues and now I'm carrying it around on my backpack, on my back. Uh, but at this point, I've got nothing left to lose. I wish it kind of went into a story about that, like 
the meteor came through this building and then uh, like he had an argument with his girlfriend or something and his life's fallen apart. <laughs> I want to see more. So we're supposed to go that way, but this is interesting. Oh. Anomalies are bad for your health. Never let your guard down. Some items can be damaged or destroyed with weapons. That would be that. A bandage. And some vodka. I like this game already. Been rewarded for going off the beaten path. Hell yeah. Can we do pat? Oh. Thought we'd be able to do some running jumping. This is nice. This is all pleasant so far. It's crouch. I changed it to crouch. To see. Bleeding. Med kits. Restore your health. Bandages stop bleeding. Uh, what did I put as lean? There we go. Woo -hoo. There's no mutants in here. I've seen the trailer. Uh, is someone in there? Oh. Yo, the atmospheric in this. I'm scared already. Any good loot? I'll take anything. Oh, wait. Oh, come on. That's like a box. Shouldn't have told me that I can destroy stuff. Now I'm uh, searching everything. Uh, I probably shouldn't do that. I'll get a little skewered. No? Hey, canned food. Oh. Can you hear clicking? Is someone trying that? <laughs> Peek. Oh, I guess that's peeking. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Investigate the scientist's bunker. What was it? Wow, I can't see anything. Perform a melee. Use V to perform a melee attack. I can hear footsteps. Is that a body? Oh, this is a bad idea. I'm, I, I'm, I'm putting my light on. Hey. Hey. He's dead. What the? Where's the... Who, what killed you? You've got no blood on you or anything. Badger. Uh, okay, we've got a, an AKM-74U. What's... And then we've got some bullets and a PDA. Take all his ah. Nice. Push drag it. There we go. Quick key. What's that? Alright, this is fine. Where stats are okay for now. Um two, three. <gasps> Let's go. 31 bullets. This is a weapon. What did it say then? Uh, I. PDA, I think it said. Is there a way to... Ah, oh, there we go. P. Journal. Notes. Tutorial. IPS Soldier's Memo. Skiff's Diary. <laughs> Out of the frying pan and into the fire. I returned after three years. Ah, so he's, yeah, he's military trained then, this guy. I returned after three years of service in real hell to cool off. 
quietly trading dummies, the cheapest artifacts, burnt out after being taken out of the zone by some lucky stalkers, drinking in my smoke-filled apartment. Yes, we didn't have much of a life before this guy then, and staring at the TV as if it were a window. And everything seemed to be going according to plan until my flat got blown to smithereens one night. An anomaly, right in my kitchen. It wrecked up the little I had, le had left behind another dummy, only this time it was different. A special anomaly, a special dummy. And if a certain Herman is to be believed, special money if I manage to recharge it with his scientific gadget. The catch is, I'll have to venture in the zone to do it. I've heard enough stories to avoid the zone at all costs, and it decided to reach out to me. Well, it's time to pay a visit. Could it get any worse? As my demoted commander said, if you're born to hang, you'll never drown. All right, it didn't work out for this guy. We got everything. We got a new weapon. I like it. I'm expecting all water to be radiated, and whatever whatever killed him could be still down here. Oh, is it the rock with the leg twitching thing? I'm sure he just twitched. Uh, more bullets. Double the bullets. Which way? Which way? Oh, shh. Use four quickly to use a make it or apply a bandage. Yeah, I just saw um, quick key and I thought I changed that to, like in normal games, my quick key is four to heal. So I thought I'd do that. What's around here? I. You should always have med kits and other consumables at hand. Quick access. So it's put it there already. <gasps> oh, you're not. You're just a normal person. Thank you. Oh. The music's creeping. Some, it's ramping up. Oh dear! <laughs> and nothing happened. What was that music? That was back to the, the thing, right? Let's have a little look at this. So this is what we're dealing with. All right. That's where we came back from. The guy's down there. Oh. Falcon 3, oh. we've got a breach at the Dugal. The bunker's off. Another ground team is on the way. Sal, I still don't have any maps. Stick to the perimeter. Avoid going in. I'll contact the sphere. So whatever it is, it's over there we need to get to. Get down. Uh, compass, main mission, side mission, enemy body. No, no. Oh, that. Oh. How many bullets? I stopped firing. I was, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's got to be enough. Is that what we saw in the sewer? Kind of looks like it. Can I? How? Oh, yeah. Look like. Oh, no. Why am I looking at that one? <laughs> I'm looking to see if I can harvest it. All right. Well, that's put us on tilt. That took half my ammo. Oh. We know that sound. I was just looking at the vehicles. I thought I might be able to loot it. Got a house here. Or an old shack. There might be some loot inside. Did it say on the map that if there was an enemy there or not? I couldn't, I couldn't see it. Just 
Just an X. Worth a try. How many pistol bullets do we have? That's quite, that's not bad. Oh, come on. That's a bone. That's not good. None of these have anything? Ah, yes. Ammo, it looks like. I can hear something over there. Something's following me. Anything good in the toilet? So, oh. But. Is that an ex. Oh, is that a water bottle? Oh. Hey, nice. house over here as well. Let's not forget about this one. Yeah, I'm a hoarder. Absolutely massive hoarder. Is that normal? <laughs> so I just want to check my inventory, actually. How much is it? Weight-based? It'll be both, right? Yeah, so it's inventory space and weight-based. All right, we're not doing too bad. Two weapons, though. I wonder if I can sell one of these. Can we empty one of the... If I go like that... Unload. Ah, there we go. Nice. We got mob. Oh. That's a ladle. <laughs> Alright, more dead bodies are a dead body. Shh. This close combat will go this. Nice. No. Oh. Oh, you got your head chopped off. Wow, this is like the fallout vibes in this is insane. Oh, let's see what's on the body. Yo. That's a new weapon. Just a little bit of... Sausage there, okay. Nice. I think that's the only difference we've got there. Uh, description, sort, S. Nice. So we got a, an AKM 47, or 74S. Ooh. Like Call of Duty weapon here. You remember Black Ops? It's got a... Oh god, it's a presser on it, has it? No. I think it's just like a longer barrel at the end. Cool. All right, a couple of different weapons. 80 bullets on this bad boy. Is it the... It's not the same, is it? Ah, oh, it is. Never mind. Oh. Hey. Can I get that? Cool. Where we have one to oh. I thought some were going to jump out at me. Where did it go? He just got annihilated right there, which means there's going to be some stuff there, right? These guys have some insane loot on them. Something just disappeared in the middle. And that's where we need to be, right? Ah, oh, fuck. Well, we're dead. Where's the shit? Rats. 
get out. This was a house behind enemy, like behind the fence, wasn't it? Did we go in this one? No, we couldn't. I can hear something walking up. Oh, shit. Should we go to the body? That could be another weapon with bullets in it. Yo, the atmospheric effects sound so good. There's a bot, there's another, there's two bodies, you can see the X's. 